We turn now to the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., where the House adjourned without a speaker again. So far, Republican Kevin McCarthy has failed to win the speakership after 11 separate ballots. Joe Khalil joins us live from Washington, D.C. Joe, you and I have been watching this literally gavel to gavel, and I just don't know, but I'm going to ask you, do you think they will resolve this anytime soon? Uh, I don't think it's likely soon, Nick. And, you know, really, uh, people are beating the hell out of this metaphor, but it, it truly is starting to feel like Groundhog Day here at the Capitol, because for a fourth day, we now wake up yet again without a Speaker of the House and without a functioning House of Representatives. And yet again, overnight, what I'm hearing from my Republican sources is that they do feel like uh, Leader McCarthy and some of his allies are making some progress in negotiations behind closed doors with these 20 or so Republicans that have so far been blocking uh, Kevin McCarthy, even though it's not showing up in the vote tallies right now. But yesterday, Leader McCarthy left the House chamber uh, after an almost unprecedented 11th failed vote for Speaker. And he told reporters this, saying here, quote, what we're doing is we're having really good progress in conversation. I think everybody in the conversation wants to find a solution. And Nick, I can tell you my sources also are insisting that this never Kevin Block is starting to hint at moving in uh, McCarthy's direction, at least some of them. After the latest round of concessions, uh, McCarthy basically agreeing to nearly all of their demands on rules changes, even the ones that could make him a weakened speaker. Uh, the problem here for McCarthy is uh, that it is uh, not exactly clear how many uh, of these members may shift in his direction. And again, it is still to this point, not being reflected in the vote count. So that is something that we're going to be watching today, Nick. Again, we've heard that before. They keep insisting on it. But, you know, we're going to see around noon today when we again gavel in. For our viewers at home, what happens if no speaker is elected today? Will these votes continue into the weekend? What happens next? Yeah, so far as we know, they will happen uh, over the weekend. They're going to continue. Uh, but that's a really good point, Nick, is that today we're going to learn a lot because oftentimes when the clock adds some pressure here, it does sort of change members of Congress' behavior. And so uh, there are some members that may actually leave and go home. We know at least one has a funeral for their mother. So there are going to be some people leaving, and that could actually affect the vote count, and, and likely not in Kevin McCarthy's favor. So we will see if the clock here adds some pressure to whatever negotiations are happening behind the scenes here. But Nick, at this point, not at all clear McCarthy's path forward. And so we'll see how this plays out today and through the weekend. And Joe, I understand that so many of the members had come in on the first day with their families, hoping to see this moment in history when they would be sworn in. And they're like, this has gone on and on. And Joe, is it true that some of the members won't get a paycheck because they haven't been able to move past this? So members of Congress will get their paychecks. We know that. But what we also know is that if you are a staff member who works for a committee, you are not going to get paid unless they figure this out. Uh, a memo did go out uh, to some staff saying that by January 13th, if this is not resolved, they are not going to get paid. So that's certainly a real world impact for you know, a couple of hundred, if not uh, a few thousand people that work here uh, on Capitol Hill. Uh, that's certainly something that's important. If you're a staff member who works individually for a member of Congress, you will get your paycheck. But if you work specifically for a committee and those committees are not seated, you're not going to get paid. Joe, everyone deserves to make and earn the pay that they've worked for. Joe Khalil reporting for us live this morning. Joe, thank you. All Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.